What's up? Welcome back to The Artist Influence. It's Brian Henninger back again. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that's really important when you're trying to achieve anything. Whenever you're setting down the path to something new, something you're trying to accomplish, you have to make friends with failure. You can't be afraid to fail. I mean, in this day and age, in our culture, in our society, with the internet and with Twitter and Instagram and Facebook followers and YouTube likes and videos and views and all that kind of stuff, we're so attached to this feeling of instant gratification. This idea that we can put something out there and people will automatically take it and either like it or dislike it and we get instant feedback for our efforts. And this is just not true in every area of life. It's only true in the last several years, maybe less than a decade really, of the internet being around to where we're so connected we can have this type of instant gratification. But for every other area of life, from your health to losing weight and becoming more fit in your body to starting a business and trying to become successful at that to becoming a professional dancer and going on auditions and hoping to book your first job, there's persistence that comes along with it and there's failure that's built in. And failure is just a part, it's just a step in the process to succeeding. So what we need to do is we've got to become friends with failure. We have to welcome failure and understand that it's just it's a vehicle to learn and to be able to move past whatever current plateau we're at. And the second thing we got to do is we have to kill entitlement, guys. I mean, I see this so much in this, in this current generation of dancers and in the younger generation of just people in the country and in the world overall, is we all have this sense of entitlement. This sense that, you know, because we have a Facebook and Twitter followers and Instagram followers and YouTube followers and bigger and ever expanding groups of social media and contacts that we should just be successful at whatever we put our minds to, whatever we start doing. That automatically success is just going to come because of how connected people are, because of how many followers we have or how many people following us on Facebook or friends that we have or contacts. And it's just simply not true. So all of these dancers that are coming into the dance industry nowadays and they have this mentality of entitlement to where, you know, they feel like, oh, I've put two or three years into this, I've tried to audition for two or three years, or take something other than dance as an example. Oh, I just got into, you know, sales, I started uh, selling business for working for a, a wireless uh, telephone company or something, or I sell real estate, or I sell advertising, or whatever. And sometimes people have this, this mentality, it happens more in dancers than anything else I've ever, ever seen, but it ha happens other places too. This, ment this mentality of uh, entitlement to where, you know, all of a sudden a couple years in, you've put forth some good effort for a couple years, you've seen measurable results, but you're not where you feel like you should be, and you feel entitled to be where you think you should be. And it's just simply not true. I mean, any path to success is paved with failures and it's paved with setbacks, but it's how you challenge, it's how you... Um, challenge those setbacks is how you process them and it's how you learn from them that allows you to move forward and become more successful than your wildest dreams. I mean look, Rome was not built in a day. The world wasn't built in a day. Anything great, anything amazing, at, take the biggest brands in the world, Apple, um, Macintosh, uh, Windows, um, Delta Airlines, uh, I mean anything, anything huge, the entire in the industries of the world, the banking industry, the the uh, transportation industry, all of those things were built in incremental bursts. They were not built in a day. You don't go from zero to a million dollars overnight. Yeah, and you don't go from starting out on a dance career to hugely successful and able to be sustained over a long period of time overnight either. It's something that you build up. You build it up through your hard work and dedication, showing up every day, looking for audition uh, information, looking for opportunities. If you have an agent, you don't just sit around and wait for your agent to email you. You make your own connections, you make your own luck, you make your own opportunities for yourself and you show your agent that you're a commodity and that you're worth money and that people are willing to pay money for you which makes them want to work for you more and get you more gigs. You network on those gigs and you create contacts with casting agents and choreographers you've worked with and directors and you expand your network and this happens over years, not months, years. You build that network up so now, a couple years down the line, three, four, five, it's a different time frame for everyone, but you have this base of contacts and you have a reputation in the industry and you have a workflow, a flow of opportunities. And, uh, and gigs that allows you to support yourself through dance and actually create a real career out of it, a sustainable career. Um, but that doesn't happen overnight, overnight and it's not an easy thing to accomplish, but it's something that's possible for everyone. 
It just depends on your mentality going into it. So what we have to do is we have to kill this mentality in this generation of dancers of entitlement, guys. People have been talking about it for years now. And it wasn't always like this, but for some reason, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's how easily accessible everything is, maybe it's how dance is so popular nowadays that people just think that they can jump in and be able to be successful no matter what. You got to kill that sense of entitlement, and you have to first humble yourself and humble your humble yourself, and understand that before you're working to earn, you're working to learn. Yeah, and you need to take those gigs that are learning experiences. You need to take those opportunities to make connections, even if there's not a gig right now in the present. Make a connection with someone. Make a real relationship with someone. Make a real contact. Create a dialogue with different agents you're interested in working with, with choreographers who you like to take their class and you enjoy their style. And don't do it from a place of trying to be an opportunist to where you're always focused on what you're going to get from this other person, but focus on what you can give that other person. Because if there's one thing that's true in life and one thing that really, really spans all of these different facets of life from finances to, to relationships to career to health to fitness to all these different things, when you focus on the more you can give, you end up getting more in return. So don't focus on what you're getting. Don't focus on, oh, I want to make this X amount of dollars and, and only focus on that thing. Focus on what you can give. So every time you go into an audition, focus on how well you can fit that person's idea of what they're looking for from that casting. So if it's for a commercial for a product, focus how you can highlight that product, how you can make that product sellable, and how you can impress the casting director by showing them that you can listen to what they're needing, what they're asking for, and deliver that time after time again. And if you're only concerned of getting the job and, and not losing the job, you'll never be able to deliver that type of service. So focus on giving first. The getting will take care of itself. And that also comes from a mentality of humbleness, a mentality of gratitude first. You're grateful to get to do this every day. You're grateful to get to pursue a profession where it's what you love to do, no matter what that is. If it's dance, if it's choreography, if it's arts, if it's music, whatever your, your passion is, you are lucky to be able to pursue that passion as a career. Because the vast majority of the people on this earth are living in third world countries, in environments where they have no running water. There's no chance for them to ever live any type of dreams. There's no chance for them to even ask themselves what type of dreams they would even have and want to pursue. They're just focused on surviving. So for you to sit here in America or whatever other, whatever other country you're sitting here and, and being able to honestly ask yourself if you want to pursue a career in professional dance or any other arts, you're a, a lucky select few. You are the minority, not the majority of the world. So you're lucky and you should be grateful first to be even able to pursue this professionally, to pursue what you want to do and not what some government agency is telling you you have to pursue, not what you're born into, not the, the caste that you're born into, not the, the, the poverty level you're born into. None of those things in America automatically dictate what your, what your opportunities are. And we're lucky for that. And if you're in a country that allows you the opportunities to ask yourself what you're passionate about and what you want to pursue, then you're lucky as well. And you need to be grateful first. So come from a place of humbleness. Accept failure. Understand that failure is a part of the process. Yeah, every great man, every great woman has failed numerous, numerous times before accomplishing what they want to accomplish. I mean, you look at the light bulb. You look at uh, the iPhone. You look at... Uh, the Wright brothers and, and creating flight. You look at all the greatest discoveries of our modern times and in, in humanity's history, they've all come after long, long periods of failed attempts at trying to accomplish whatever they're trying to accomplish and make happen. So welcome failure, guys. Failure is a teacher. Failure is an opportunity to learn, to grow, to contribute further beyond yourself so that same failure next time becomes a success. So don't be afraid of failing, guys. Don't be afraid of putting yourself out there and not getting what you feel like you deserve. Because what you feel like you deserve and what you actually deserve are two different things. And it's about your hard work and your persistence over time that bridges that gap and makes what you feel like you deserve and what actually happens in your life makes those two the same thing and creates that success for you. So don't be entitled. Yeah, Understand that this is, a, is not a fast-paced race. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And if you're trying to build a foundation for a career to be able to live long and provide income for you and provide you a lifestyle that you want, then you need to build a strong foundation and you need to be not afraid of taking the time to do that. 
Yeah, so slow it down, pump the brakes a little bit, look at what you're doing, look at what you're giving of yourself, look at where your priorities are, look at where you're focusing in whatever career, and whatever thing you're trying to do, and make sure those priorities are the right priorities. Make sure you're doing the right actions every day that are gonna bring, give you the results that you want over the long term. Don't focus on the short term. Yeah, focus on the long term. Because the long term will dictate the steps and actions you need to take every day to get there. Yeah, so fight that entitlement. Don't be entitled, be humble, be grateful you're even able to pursue this whatsoever and be able to pursue a career and a passion that you love and come from that place every day. Come from a place of giving and then all the getting will take care of itself. Yeah, the money will take care of itself, all that stuff. If you have faith and you believe in yourself and what you're passionate about and what you're trying to accomplish and you're willing to put forth the work day after day after day and take those failures as lessons, you're destined for success and success will come and it's only a matter of time. So be patient, yeah, be positive, be passionate, Go out there every day and make those action steps count. Make those classes you're taking count. Make those connections count. Create real relationships with people around you and focus on what you can give instead of what you can get. And it will set you up for success beyond your wildest dreams. I promise that. Yeah, so that's it for today for the Artist and Influence. Once again, check out the book, Book Dance Jobs. It's the ultimate career guide for commercial dancers and professional dancers alike. It's on sale at broadwaydancecenter.com. It's also on sale at Excel National Dance Convention, which is getting ready to kick off here in just two weeks. We'll be in Huron, Ohio, November 1st and 2nd, so come check us out, www.excelinmotion.com. And keep an eye out for my website, theartistinfluence.com, coming very soon. We're rounding the launch dates right now. It's going to be up in the next couple weeks. And follow us on Instagram as well, yeah? Hashtag the artist influence on Instagram, search for it. I'm always posting inspirational messages every day to try to keep us all engaged and focused on what we want to create in our life. Yeah, we want to live a life of action, not reaction. So, I hope that helped guys. Stay in touch. I'll talk to you guys soon.